You've written for, I don't know, Beyonce, Adele, Blackpink, Tate McRae. I mean, you're into the thick of it. Charlie, Justin. And you, as a songwriter, you could probably relate to this feeling, because I, I mentioned this to Taylor Swift also. When you write your songs, they're like little babies, right? Mm -hmm. And then you kind of release them to the world. Yeah. What was the roughest little baby that you had to let go to another artist? For me personally, um, it was EXO, Beyonce. Okay. okay. Um, so that was the first, EXO and Drunken Love came out at the same time, right? She did a dual release uh, on that album. And that song was the hardest for me because it was one of the only times where in producing the, the song, I was producing it, I was in Australia on tour, we were promoting, we were, to give you a frame of reference, it, it was the month that I wrote or co-wrote and produced XO was the month that Counting Stars came out. Got it. And as I was doing the, the demo and finished it and sent it in, I, I was like listening back to it and I was like, and, and no one's heard my version, but I was like going, w we could put this out. <laughs> like this is, this is, and there's a version of it that's un very uniquely different from the version she put out. She right. changed quite a bit. And my version of it to this day, I'm like, we should put that out. Like, and, and so that one, you know, you're giving it to Beyonce. So what am I, you know, yeah. I'm not an idiot. It doesn't right? get better than that. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> right, if you're right. going to lose a song, you're going to lose it to Beyonce. Right, right. But EXO is one that, um, that was like, I was like, ah, man, but my demo, like, I just like, <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have demoitis with that one. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I wanted to put it, you know what? I mean, technically, legally, it wouldn't offend, if it wouldn't offend her, then we would. I would right. happily put it out. Maybe.